So this is a, this is a really interesting chart to me. So it says Bitcoin price fell 11% in quarter two, 2024 compared to Q1 in contrast to the positive return of 7% observed in Q2, 2023. So I just think that this is an important, especially right now, we're seeing the, we're seeing the price of Bitcoin go down in fiat terms. And I mean, it, it, it makes a lot of sense to me. And this is kind of what I predicted when the, the halving happened, is that the price would go up and then it would kind of stabilize for the summer, mostly because nobody's really paying attention to anything right now, every year in the financial markets, it's a lull because everybody's on holidays or they're just mailing it in. We, especially here in Canada, and I know Canada is not a huge market, but I feel like it's reflective in the West. But we only have like three, four months of like nice weather. And so, so people, they get their whole lives crammed into those two or three months. So they're not paying, they're not buying Bitcoin. They're not paying attention to this stuff. They're just trying to enjoy their summer. So you can see here a couple things that I noticed when I took a little bit closer look at this graphic here is that Q1 and Q4 are kind of the the quarters where everything happens. There, there's one outlier here in 2021 in quarter two of 2000, no, sorry, 2011, where Bitcoin went up 2000% in one quarter. But other than that, if you look at the Q1 and the Q4s, that's where all the big amounts are. <clears throat> so you got 103 in 2021. You got 500 in 2013. 164 in 2011. But Q, Q4 is the big one. So even last year in Q4 2023, we saw a 50% increase in the price. 2020, 170% increase. 2017, 226% increase. And in 2013, 468 percent so it makes sense in my head but it's also just nice to see this in a graphic because you can also see that q3 historically has been pretty red honestly so just manage your expectations here over these next couple months just you use this as an opportunity to buy as much bitcoin as you possibly can because I expect some very big things here in the Q4 for this year and Q1 mostly. That it kind of starts in Q4. That's that's why I think the Q1 and Q4 are the ones to watch because it usually starts any sort of movement, especially after a halving. It starts in in Q4. So pretty interesting. You can you can get that graphic yourself if you just go to Bitcoin News uh, Twitter feed. We got a rock and roll here. The show must go on. 